And I've had the sound off. Thank you, Stuart. So welcome to Wednesday Night Yoga. Now I'll say it all over again. Welcome if, if you are uh, live streaming in on YouTube from anywhere in the world. Welcome if you're watching recorded. And welcome to my Zoom friends who, they keep me honest. I think I've taught 700 online classes and several have been completely muted. So what are you going to do about that? Anyway, Looney is completely laid out on his back. He is literally like this on his back. He was in cat jail earlier today. He had to go to the bathroom, stay in the bathroom for a while while construction went on. So he's very happy to be back in his special place. You too can lie on your back. Wednesday yoga is Yin's day. We do slower, more peaceful, meditative, healing, soothing movement. Looney's doing bearskin rug pose. That's fully laid out on the back with all four paws splayed out. Nice deep breath together. Great YouTube analytics, people from all over the world. Very, very grateful to see you. I'll do my very best to channel movements that bring love, light, and peace to you. In the meantime, we're on our back for four, maybe even five more minutes. If you've already been relaxing for a few minutes, take your breathing down to your belly button. I literally cannot get over what Looney's doing right in front of me. Looney's our role model, he's our example. Fully on the back, four paws up, eyes closed. Maybe spend a minute feeling whatever your feels are after a long active day. Maybe jiggle your arms and legs out a little, swallow once, these little ritual movements that facilitate release and relaxation. Good job, you guys. Nice big inhale, biggest inhale you got. Exhale, let it all go. We are <laughs> loony. We are calm and peaceful cats.
Good, wiggle your fingers and toes, circulate, feel good around yourself. Stretch your arms up to the ceiling. Stretch your arms back over your head, point your toes forward, writhe around in cosmic intergalactic ecstasy. Good, draw your knees in, roll around a little bit on your back with your knees in. Everything is easy, does it? Everything is moderate, calm, and peaceful tonight. Good friends around the world, let's sit up and issue Wednesday salutations. By the way, live, of course, it is Wednesday, August 28th. This month, August has gone by faster than any month of my life with more activity and it's all unfolding good. I hope it is for you. I trust it is. If you do yoga and you stick with it over a long period of time, it doesn't mean you won't have trials and tribulations, troubles, challenges, and difficulties. It means, of course, nothing of the kind. We know that that's fully impractical spirituality. But what it does mean is every trial and tribulation, you'll come through stronger, healthier, more vital, more capable, you'll be lifted above where you were before. So that, of course, is a great promise of yoga. Anyway, we'll get going. Shoulders, one, two. If the algorithm dropped you off for the first time and you've been thinking about doing yoga, that's why you got deposited here. If you just sit on your rump and start moving your shoulders around, you'll be in the game. And it's so much more important than you're in the game than anything else. Other way, one, if you've been studying yoga with me for over 20 years, one very special friend in class has, and we are so strong and healthy, six, seven, boy, even I can tell I've been losing weight, looking leaner and healthier and happier. Inhale up. Exhale out to the side, arms behind your back. Up your back, behind your neck. I've literally never seen Looney this wiped out and on his back in bearskin rug pose before. He's had a very challenging day, poof. Leave a comment for Looney, he always returns comments. Poof. If you don't think you can do yoga, think again. Poof, and one more. Oof. Good job. Now, this left shoulder is going to kind of come down to the right. I'm going to circle over right shoulder, left knee. It doesn't have to be any more intricate, but it could be more involved. You could bring your left shoulder all the way down to your right knee, right shoulder to your left knee. But this is not my class from 2007 with my master teacher. This is a 2024 class with my best friends, taking it around. I call this Avatar, the lizards do this in that movie. Seven, eight. Good, Looney's up in Buddha cat pose now. Right shoulder, left knee. We just go the other way. Now, if these moves are, movements are done with peace and patience, it'll actually have an interesting effect. You'll stop thinking so much. That doesn't mean you'll have less experience. It means you'll have access to more. Five. Is this really yoga? Is this the stuff in Yoga Magazine? No, it's not. It's better. And eight. Good job. All right, uh, all I'm going to do, did you move? I leaned back on my hands and I've not lifted my rump today. So up with rump, up you go. That stretches the part that congeals when you sit all day. Good, come on down. These things go the other way. Sometimes we forget. Lean back and elevate your undercarriage. You don't have to explode. You could just lift this high, chest to head back. Good. 
Do you realize these simple movements done in sequence are pretty much in the owner's manual of life? Okie doke. One of my favorites, weird if you haven't done it, laced hands, thumbs up, and tomorrow I shave. I'm gonna pretend I'm shaving with my thumbs down my sternocleidomastoids. Tomorrow I may very well plug in all of my lights. So this is nice ambient, soon to be dimming light. So enjoy the, what's a good word from an artist? The patina? I wonder if my artist friend approves. Six, seven, eight. Good thumbs underneath your jaw. Relax your face down into your hands. Massage underneath your jaw bones. The best of self-care. Don't push too hard. Good. All right. Then relax your head down. Take your coconut around eight times. A lot of this is sort of, what's a good word? Meditative, sensuous, visceral. Four, five. We're cultivating a mood. Seven, et. How about the other way? One, got dust in my throat. Two, three, been remodeling my entire life for a whole month. Well worth it. Five, yoga is remodeling your body. Seven, Eight, relax your head down, examine your body. Do you need a remodeling? Do you just need a new fence and some new landscaping, maybe a new coat of paint? Or do you need to be ripped down to the foundation, torn out and built anew? Both are available. You know, I admit that I do two series of shoulder shrugs, but I need them. So this is the more advanced one for my super smart yoga students all the way around the world. Hi, 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 hi. Time out. You always take out time out for the ones you love, right? I started to do a cat movement. He's here you go. There you go. I know most people on YouTube are here for the cat. Good. Now you take these there. Now I lean forward and I, I get down and I, it's the seventies. I get down and I get funky. Did you ever have a perm? Those embarrassing pictures from the eighties. Oh my God. Why did we do that? Push, push. Like I have curly, frizzy hair. <laughs> oh, well, 80s were fun. Most of you don't remember. Arms out, vulture wrists. Upside down, push and smush. Hey, cat. Up, go into your cat tree. There he goes. Good, back up over, forward, around and down. My shoulders used to be so locked, and now I'm not saying they're perfectly liberated, but they're well on their way. That's a lot of frozen energy, insight, inspiration, healing. We have, we have no idea how much is headed our way. If we'll just get in line, seven. Now this is challenging, I'm gonna Push down, straighten my arms, drop my chin. If you got those long two elbow arms, maybe not. Good, all right. Okay, your car has a broken turn signal, right arm out. 
corkscrews. Some people have about this much range of motion right there. It's designed to at least go there. If we got a contortionist in here, you wouldn't even want to watch it. All the in I got behind my back, bring it up. You may not be able to do that. That meant you're just going to have to stick with it. The right elbow might be too far away. Grab it. Careful pulling it in. Drop your chin and pay attention to how much you feel this. If you're brand new to yoga, you can, well, the progression is I don't feel it, I don't feel it, I don't feel it, emergency room. We want to be a little more subtle than that. Good. A little of that goes a long way, kitty cats. Okay, right hand turn. Do you remember how to, what these arm singles mean, signals mean? If you're one of my younger students, when we were in driver's ed, you had to learn how to make signals because you probably were poor and you couldn't afford a car with turn signals. So you got really, this, this meant a U-turn all the way around. Good, arms behind your back, left arm behind your back. Careful, bring it up. It may not pack in here. That, my teacher could put his heel here, not just his arm. Right, el left elbow too far away, just wait. Grab it if you can, drop your chin. If you can pull your elbow into your side, you still have full factory installed range of motion. Today I went shopping for mattresses and Mattress Firm is right next to a gym's, gymnast studio. And the little girls were filtering in about 3.30, thousands of them, it seemed. They were very bouncy, very springy. They would have no problem with this. You might be, maybe you're not five years old anymore. Come out, undo that. Oof, ha <laughs> ha, I'm five years old, a certain multiple. Roll it around. I don't wanna be five years anymore. I've already, already did that. I like this. I love being 47 years old. Other way, one, two. Oh, you don't look a day over that. Six. Who cares what we look like? Come on, you guys, seriously. Good, shake poop off your hands. I was in uh, music for majors class yesterday, Tuesday. I saw Casey, the son of one of my favorite students. We gave each other a big smile. This, I saw a lot of my friendly students. I haven't been officially accepted yet. I don't find out they might kick me out based on my audition, but I did the damn best I could. Faster, faster. Cup your hands at your heart. Feel the amazing good headed your way. Ask and you shall receive. Don't ask and you won't receive. Isn't that, that's a twist, isn't it? I, I don't want to ask. Good, inhale for one of our world famous, world changing ohms, inhale. Oh. Okay, I invite all my friends around the world, drop your chin, close your eyes. I use four words, pray, intend, visualize, imagine the highest you can. I call it aiming your soul.
Good job on that. Okay, just one simple seated forward fold, and then we'll move on to yinny or stuff. Oh boy, oh boy. Now, you may not have yoga blocks. Pretty soon I'll be sell selling them on my online store with Looney Bin Laden coffee cups. I'm gonna put a couple blocks. I like to grab my right wrist with my left hand behind my back. That's a yoga mudra. This is fully available if you like. If you don't have yoga blocks, you can use encyclopedias since nobody uses those anymore. You can use rocks. And we're going to do this, believe it or not, for a whole damn minute, a unit. Get your happy on. Open your love valve. I'm going to roll my forehead out, get the wrinkles out, open up my third eye. God, it feels good just to take a little time, not, hey, what's next? What's next? What's next? How about this? How about now? My body's settling in, my hips are going further back. I can move the blocks more forward. Good, on your next in naturally rising inhale, please come up. Good job. All right. Do you ever surprise yourself how productive you can be when you really have to be? Not when it's mildly necessary, but when when you got to do it, you do it. When the should becomes a must, human beings do amazing things, but usually only when it becomes a must. Okay, you guys, I'm glad we have these blocks. And if you don't, what did I mention earlier? encyclopedias, rocks, your pets, because now, and this is why you really want to get some foam blocks as opposed to the hickory ones where I trained as a younger student. But anyway, big one, medium. That could be three pillows and two pillows. It could be a bolster and a blanket. It could be seven blankets and three blankets. But in essence, big, small. Bigger, less bigger. Why? Well, yesterday I was playing piano at Costco. I tried to get the Nordstrom gig and they wouldn't let me do it. So I played the damn piano on sale at Costco and they gave me no money for doing it. And my back got a little sore. So I'm gonna put this right in my bra strap. I'm wearing a lacy little number tonight. This goes right underneath your heart. And you really don't want to make your head go back too far unless you're a snake. O M G. Now, it doesn't have to be blocks. I already said that. But you got to lay back and you got to surrender to it. If it's too much sensation, fix it. If you don't feel anything, Adjust it. I don't care what you do with your legs. Just keep your feet out of your mouth. Your legs can be extended out like that. That's a nice looking pose. And now this is probably three minutes. But this will get that part of your thoracic heart spine that only the best chiropractors can get. And now you can fall asleep if you want. The 
It may not be perfectly comfortable. It may be partially comfortable and partially stimulating, opening, releasing, controversial. But if you surrender and we really let it sink in, it'll get to areas that otherwise are completely inaccessible. It takes time. If it makes sense to you, breathe more from your belly button, less from your chest. Make a meditation, a soft, relaxed one, of the rise and the fall of your belly button. That will increase the fruit, the benefit of such a pose as this. If you're wildly flexible, you could turn your head block down. You can grab your elbows up over your head. That's pretty strong for me. I'll do it for half a minute. There, I got that big spinal chunk. Thank you, God. Okay, my friends, fingertips on the back of your head. Gently tilt only your head up first. This drives some, a lot of sensation into my bra strap. Arms down by the side of your body. Pull your elbows in. Try to press straight out, not left and right. Try to come up straight. Oh. Lord's a leaping. All right. <laughs> it's kind of like being voluntarily impaled, isn't it? All right. 
Well, that just makes this next one all the better because A, it's a counterpose, meaning it's, it uh, relieves the other side of the symmetry. It feels great and it's a stronger inversion. So again, you should get some of these foam blocks. They sell them, they sell them. You can get them at Walmart for $2. You can get them at Whole Foods for $39.99. I'm gonna leave that up to you. Oh, I'll take the Whole Foods ones because they're pink. All right, now, this is one of my favorite sequences in the world. I'm on my back. I lift my tail feathers. This goes from my belt line down, not underneath my kidneys, underneath my triangle shaped sacral bone. My knees come in here. Now, of course, one could use a much larger block. One could use a smaller block. One could use a couple of blankets that would lift your fanny. I've not said fanny for a long time. It lifts, I like saying Fanny. If I had a daughter, maybe I would name her Fanny. Anyway, I digress. My Fanny is lifted, in this case, four or five inches. My legs are up in Viparita Karani. No one's gonna bother me. My feet aren't gonna reach all the way up to the ceiling fan. I did that earlier, I was installing a roll of shade and I stuck it right into the ceiling fan. That's a surprise. Anyway, maybe you're brand new and you can't tolerate this. You just do it for a minute and you bring your legs down and now you're in a wonderful pose just called bridge. But as you get stronger, healthier, leaner, more vital, more used to it, you can lay on your back, hips lifted, legs up for Geez, you could do this for 20 minutes. We'll probably do it for three or four. If your legs start to shake and foam starts to come out of your nose, then that's usually a sign to moderate. If you're loving it, if you're just delighting and indulging in the time, then delight and indulge in more. This is an inversion, it's good for your heart, it's good for circulation. It's the counterpose of what we just did. It lengthens the back of your neck. It squeezes your thyroid gland. It gives you the opportunity to look at your ceiling. It is just damn good. Now in a moment, I'm gonna move into a Wednesday optional pose. If you're one of my newbies, maybe you're brand new from Bolivia or you're a beginner from Belgium, you may not wanna take your legs all the way out to the side. It might be too confronting of a feeling, but you could try it. What have you got to lose? <laughs> Don't answer that. But I've been doing this for decades now. And from the waistband down, I am a party just waiting to happen. I'm gonna circulate my ankles. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm giving you the option of going back where we were or just gently putting your feet on the floor. 
But for me, this is yin yoga. This is restorative. This keeps the southern hemisphere of my body frisky and risky and furry and furry. But now I'm going to bend my knees. I'm going to squeeze my knees back in together. Now I'm going to bring my knees into my chest in kind of a cannonball. My hips are still lifted. My belt line right on the block is a very solid, stable feeling. As I do this and my hips are lifted, my kidneys and my lower back relax. It reverses my lumbar curve in a healthy and appropriate way. If I was fully flexible, my knees would come all the way to my chest. They don't. This is restorative fetal position. Good. Now stretch your legs back up. Cross your left thigh over your right as strong as you can. And if God made you to do it, slink your left ankle underneath your right ankle, which I could almost do again, not yet. And now we're all going to bring our right foot down to the floor. If you're tight as a boiled owl, that will be very challenging. If you're doing this with your knees and your legs crossed, your knees and your ankles crossed in English, Good for you. Now, just let this pose have its way with you. I invented this pose. It's called Greg Asana. It gets deep into your hip flexors. It gets areas that standard movements don't get. It's just smart. Good. Now optional, optional for bendies is to press into your right foot and to lift your hips up off the block to see if you have any of that. Can you press into your right foot? and lift your hiney, your fanny, your fanny it's called tonight. Oh, that's hard for me. Good, now rest your fannies down, bring your knees in, legs up, booty still on the block. This is the best class I've ever taught because it's the one I'm teaching right now. Now, as you might imagine, we're going to widen our legs. Now we're going to super sweep our right thigh under over our left, right over left. Right ankle underneath your left if God made you to do it. God made everybody to do it, just not right now. Now my left foot is going to... Now if you're a gymnast or a ballerina or a contortionist, this is like meh, but if you're like 99% of humans that are pretty crammed, pretty uh, balled up, pretty jammed up, this is the bee's knees. Just keep breathing. Don't stop breathing. Oh boy, does it feel good to really breathe deep from my belly and let my exhalations all the way go. Oh. Heavenly, heaven. Okay, optional, do you want to press into your left foot and escalate your 
Fanny. Good. De-escalate your fan, fan. Bring your knees in. Stretch the legs up. Good. Now here's an option. We're going to do cannonball on our back, but still lifted. This is a great pose. Some of my bendier friends may wish to do Urdhva Hashimotanasana. Still with this delicious four inch lift of my tail feathers. I like upside down forward fold rather, rather than regular because now I can just accept where I'm at, let my tissue open, take my time, keep my spine angle appropriate because I don't really have a choice. Really bendies could reach up and jackknife their ankles into their nose. Feel free. Really feeling my hip crease deepen and lengthen away from me and down. My thigh bones are deepening in my ass atabulum. That's the name of my and your hip joints. I can't say ass on YouTube. I can say ass atabulum. Uh -huh. Aren't you loving this? Leave a comment after class. Oh, I got to tell you, this deepening of my hip crease and my thigh bone sinking in, positively capital. Now, if we did this for about two more hours, our legs would fold all the way down and we would go to the hospital. But maybe, what do you think? 45 more seconds? Sure. Now, I'm going to bring my legs back up. I'm going to bend my knees. I'm going to widen my feet about hip distance apart. And we are going to take like 10, 9, 8, 7 seconds to come down. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, oh. Oh, boy. Good. Now, I'm going to press into my feet. I'm going to lift my fanny and bring my hips down. Five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm going to bring my feet into foot prayer. I'm going to spread my knees open. I'm going to do cactus arms, elbows out to the side. And I'm going to be run over a wily coyote for like 30 seconds. Oh boy, this is good, isn't it? Biggest inhale from your belly button of all time. Biggest outhale ever. Good now you guys, we're gonna bring our knees back together. Now, if you're a really tight person, if you're really tight on this twist, you could put a block behind your head and it would really, really help because it might seem like a not a lot now, but when you go into a twist, your spine shortens and this could well save your life. On the other hand, literally on my other hand, I've got a nice little striped pillow that I found. Ooh, that's nice. That's 
For me, that's still a little high. I'm going to put it sideways. Now, I'm going to put my left knee over my right, bring my knees in. I'm going to take my right hand and sweep my leggies all the way down, oh God, to the right. Now, now am I loving this thing underneath my neck? Now, refining movements, I'm going to lift my right rib cage in the back, shift it more to the right, and now my left arm, I'm going to melt to the left with upper body. My right hand is pinning my knees down. If this is too strong, don't cross your knees. Just let your knees come down together. That's perfectly good for couple weeks, couple years. Now my face is drifting to the left. And I'm having a religious experience. Some people never have a religious experience until they start doing yoga. Then the phrase makes sense. Religion comes from the Latin word religio. It means to link back to source. My Latin's a little shaky, I admit. Not bad. Really, the thing underneath your head invaluable. Good, stay in the pose. Big, big inhale, even though you can't. Big release, asana. Okay, you guys, let's inhale them knees back up. Oh, feet on the floor. You probably need to shift your fanny to the right. Oh, good now. Knees in, right thigh over your left. Left ankle, right ankle under if you're bendy, knees in. Something underneath your head, unless you're spectacularly flexible. Knees in, left hand sweeps knees all the way down to the left. Plumping up my banky a little bit, lifting my left rib cage, taking it over a bit, left arm pinning my knees and thighs down, right torso melting, eyes closed, mouth open, obviously. Elmer Fudd says, re-wax. Every exhalation is an invitation to release and heal and surrender a little more twist. My right arm would not go all the way down at the start. It's getting there.
Okay, stay in the pose. Take a large inhale. Enjoy a large exhale. Okay, you, you guys and gals around the world, inhale them knees back up. And cross your legs, feet on the floor. I like this little blanket under a little pillow underneath my neck. Now, because I'm a pro yoga teacher, I got bolsters, I got blankets, and one is gonna go underneath my knees for an extended uh, seven minute restorative shavasana. Neck lift, knee lift. And now we're going to let all these beautiful energies assimilate. I'm always going to say goodnight to Helgasana, my beauty from Germany, 99, moi. And the rest of us around the world, we're going to send Helga off with a Shavasana. If you're brand new watching on YouTube, ancient yogis, said modern humans 3,000 years later could have seven minutes on their back if they diligently do the work together. So you having done that and bent, you're on the honor system, you're laying down now, and it's for a purpose. It's to assimilate and melt into the universe. Go. Seven minutes of Shavasana is worth 67,000 hours of so-called tossing and turning sleep.
Okay, my friends, stay nice and relaxed. There's that guy's voice. Actually, about an hour and a half has gone by, so you're more relaxed than you've ever been. Sorry about that. Breathe back toward your body. Could feel your spirit re-entering your carcass, so to speak. Good. Feel your body weight on the floor. Feel more relaxed than ever. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Invite in God, love, source, infinite, higher, organizing, loving wisdom. Circulate it around your molecules. Good, and curl onto your right side when you're ready. Take your time. Knit one, curl two. Love all over yourself. All you need is love and stuff, some money. Good, now please keep your eyes closed when you sit up, humor the teacher. Kind of scary to do it with your eyes closed, you never know, it could be an alligator suddenly crawled into your living room. Damn alligators. Hands to our heart, drop a chin. We are calm and Peaceful souls, everything is always working out for us. All things work together for good all around this big old globe. For those who love good, all together we say, Namas Wednesday, Namas Yin's Day. Look at this cool lighting. I really like it. Anyway, um, YouTubers, you guys are totally showing up for me. You're liking and subscribing. It's craze balls how fast we're growing. Pretty soon, this is the biggest YouTube channel, yoga YouTube channel in the world, and you can take personal responsibility. Thank you for liking and subscribing. All silliness aside, I really enjoyed the process. We'll see you, YouTubers.